everybody welcome back to my channel this is kind of a like impromptu little Christmas video that I wanted to get up before Christmas we're getting into like the last week before Christmas so I figured I needed to hurry up and film this and get it up or otherwise I will have missed the opportunity um we are going to be talking about what is going to be in my family's stockings we are someone that does stockings. I grew up doing stockings. Um, so I've continued that, um, over. Um, I think Mike grew up doing stockings too. So he wasn't, you know, opposed to me continuing to do that. Um, while our stockings do match, I am very excited. I have some new ones coming from personal creations. So they all are going to be a little more cohesive. Um, but what the stockings look like isn't as important as what's going in them. So um, I will show you what I got for Mike. Um, obviously, I have to get my own stuff because Mike's not here a lot of the time. Um, Diana's stocking. My daughter, older daughter Chloe is going to be at her dad's house. So all of her stuff was mailed. So it's just Mike's, mine's, Diana's, and then what I got for the dogs because I do have stockings for both of my dogs. So yeah, that sounds interesting. Um, definitely stick around. Everything was purchased mainly from Target just because I happen to be over there. Some years I've gotten stocking stuffers from Walmart. Some years I get it from Target. I'm not, you know, set on one place or the other. I just happen to be over there. So yeah, that's what we're going to be getting into. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Um, and yeah, we're just going to jump right on in. So this is Mike's stocking. Um, he likes green. Uh, mine is the same like reverse so it's red with the green and then Diana's is similar colors um it's got snowflakes on it like the red and the green and then Chloe's is like gold and sequency but um they're not like completely cohesive so I did finally break down an order for brand new stockings for all of us um they should hopefully be here before Christmas I think I paid for the shipping that I think they're supposed to be here on the 22nd which would be fine because then I can hang them up and we can use them this Christmas. So fingers crossed. I will link personal creations down below if I remember because their stuff's really, really cute. When I was um, in a previous relationship years ago, I had ordered stockings through them when my daughter Chloe was smaller. So we had stockings from them before. They're stock they have a wide variety. You can have the, you know your family's names put on them. They do have sales going on, so they're just really, really good. But anyways, that is not as important as what I got to go in the stockings. Now, my husband does watch my videos, so Mike, if you're watching, please do not watch this until after Christmas because then you're going to know what you're getting. I didn't get a ton of stuff for him and I just because we don't need very much. And I hate, like, my mother-in-law is guilty of doing this where she'll just buy random stuff just to have stuff in there. And then like, I literally have a bag of stuff from our stockings from like my mom and his mom from last year of stuff that we haven't used because it was just random crap. So I try not buy a bunch of stuff for him and I that we're not gonna use to avoid adding to that. No, you can't have this right now. You can't have this right now. One of my dogs is over here. So for the dogs, um, one of them is gonna be getting, I think it's a bunny and it's got the little plaid. They do like these stuffed toys. And then the other one's got the bear, same plaid. I did try and get them both the same toy. And I've been, I did get these, I think, from Walmart. Um, so I did the Walmart pickup. And then, you know, when I went and got it, they had to do substitution. So they're similar, but they're not the same toy, which is fine. And then, so these two, the dog stuff is from Walmart. And then I got them each one of these. I don't know if they'll chew on these but I thought I would give it a try. They're supposed to help like with their teeth cleaning. It's supposed to taste like bacon. I don't know. They're weird about the bones that they actually chew on. So each one of the dogs gets a stuffed toy and a bone. And then my dad got a toy for each one of them also. The stockings from my parents' house are in a bag. My parents are gonna be going to Montana. So my dad dropped all of our stuff off yesterday. So we have all of that. So I'm glad I didn't get a ton for Mike and I. Would you stop knocking stuff over? Get out from under there. She always has to come over here and then drop she always stuff. has to go under the table and then Lydia falls off the table and goes under the table. She is not very stable. Okay, so 
for me, I wasn't going to get anything but candy for mine. And then I was watching, you know, um, coffee break with Danny and she's going to start doing stockings with her family. She got remarried recently and has bonus children and she was showing all the stuff that she got. So it made me want to get a few things for mine instead of just candy. So I ended up getting this. Um, I know lip smackers is probably not the most like the greatest lip balm, but if for just regular chapstick, um, this was only $10 and you get all the only smell in here that I don't care about is the watermelon. Cause I don't like watermelon, but there's like gingerbread, winter white chocolate, cranberry, vanilla, cozy marshmallow, peach blizzard, candy icicles, strawberry, and sugar plum snow. So, you know, just, and my daughter ends up taking, both of my daughters end up taking some of my lip balm. So I figured it would be nice to have just some generic, fun smelling ones around. I can throw some in my purse because my chapsticks always disappear. Um, And then I got a pack of eye gels because I do like doing these. These do make a difference. And then I um, have discovered I do like doing peel off masks like in my T-zone. I don't put them all over. They're not good to peel off your whole face. They can break down the elastin, cause sagging wrinkles. So I tend to just do my nose. I'll do up in here my chin. I think they sell this brand at Walmart too. I think I've seen this at Walmart. But this is just a peel off white charcoal um, I went on this kick where I was decluttering a bunch of stuff and I gave away all of my peel off masks except for one little pot. So the other night when I did one, I've got like one little pot of peel off masks. So I figured I would break down and buy one since I gave away all my other ones because I was on this like anti peel off mask kick. And then I just got a bag of peppermint bark minis from Ghirardelli. So not like not a lot stuff that I will use. And then we'll get into Diana's and Mike's. Um, this first thing on top I did find at the Dollar Tree. Diana likes ring pops. So I figured I could, I'm not going to put this whole bag in her stocking, but I figured I could take a couple out and put those in there for her. And then I did get one thing from Amazon from for her. Um, she loves Baby Groot. So we have to watch the beginning of Guardians of the Galaxy where he's dancing all the time. That's the only part that she really likes. So I got her a little stuffed baby Groot from Amazon. So he will go in her stocking. And then she loves chapsticks. So she get and this is Lip Smackers too. That's good. I wasn't sure what brand this was. Um, it's got three. I don't know what smells these are. It doesn't, does it say in here? I probably, I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter. She's, there's vanilla snowman holiday cookies and apple fruit cake um she loves makeup because i like makeup so she loves chopstick because then she feels like she's wearing makeup so these three i think are good and then like so obviously she'll probably end up with some of mine this one is for mike's stocking it's just a little build your own plane kit i thought it was something that he could maybe do with diana so while this is like a throwaway item, I did get this in like the $3 bin at Target. So it didn't cost that much. Just something cute to put in there. Um, for Diana's, she likes Paw Patrol. So this is one of those like magic color pads with the one marker and it only colors on the paper. Um, for Mike's, I found he likes like Hot Wheels and little car so I found this little pack of the micro machine so it's got a green something and then like a little peppermint something and then like he can let Diana play with these two if he wants to so there's that for his I don't even remember what I got I got this to split up between his and mine originally this was all I was going to put in mine and then I broke down and decided to get some other stuff and then for Diana's she loves frozen like everybody else so there's a little travel clipboard like paper, crayon, stickers. So she gets that. Like I said, we have stockings from my mom's house, so there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff. So I didn't want to get a ton for ours because like it just ends up being too much. For Mike's, I found this in the men's department. This is a big-ass lump of coal. It's an activated charcoal soap. Smells like mischief and shenanigans. Mike likes this bar soap. Um, not necessarily this brand. This is from Duke. 
Canon. I don't know if he's tried this kind. There's another one that he got from another brand, and I just thought this was funny, and he'll he'll use it because the one that we did have in the shower is gone. And then I did get him an ornament. I was over at Target pretty early, like we're talking the end of November, middle of November. I was at Kohl's and I was doing my Christmas shopping for him. And I like Target is like diagonal from Kohl's. So I ran over and so I got all of this stuff pretty early because our Target got cleaned out quick. Like there is nothing left. Um, he is a Game of Thrones fan and I found... This is a kind of a heavy ornament, but it's the Iron Throne. So I thought that was pretty cool looking for him. So that's all I got because, like I said, my mom got stuff. And then I don't know if his mom is going to get stocking stuff this year. She may. But I just, we end up with a lot. So I just got a few things for our stockings. Nothing too crazy. Um, I didn't end up spending a whole lot either. I tried to get inexpensive stuff that I thought we would like and use. And so anyways, I just thought this would be a fun video since we do these stockings. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Let me know. Um, do you guys do stockings at your house? What holiday traditions do you do? We also do the thing where I'm going to let Diana pick one or two gifts to open on Christmas Eve. We do that also. So we have that tradition as well. Um, Christmas Eve, we're going to do a gingerbread house. Like just, you know, some of the normal traditional stuff. In years past, we have gone out and looked at Christmas lights. Um, it depends. Mike hopefully will be he had to leave today he will hopefully be back by Christmas Eve I'm hoping it's going to be really close so I don't know if we're going to get a chance to go look at lights this year my parents are leaving Sunday so they're not going to be here either so it's just going to be Mike and myself and my in-laws hopefully he's able to come back um so yeah that is what we normally do thank you guys so so much for being here Christmas is coming so hopefully everybody's got all their shopping done because that can be really, really stressful when you don't. Um, I know I've been there. I was there last year, so I got all my stuff done way early. Everything's been wrapped since like the first week of December when I came back from Montana. I got everything wrapped. So I finally got ahead this year. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Um, hopefully everybody is doing well and hopefully I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.